So right now I'm standing on the street outside my house and I realize I never made a video of it. So here we go and you can see it right behind me. So this is what the exterior of the house looks like from the street. And this side here is my room and you can see my windows on the second floor. So let's walk up to the house here and you can see the porch and there's some tables and chairs out here on the left. I don't really use them though. And then on the right you can see the entrance to apartment number one. So let's go in the front door here and here's the main hallway. This is really the only common area besides the hallways on the second and third floor. There's number one, the other door to that. There's a lot of mail out here. There's the mailboxes on the left. So let's go up the stairs to the second floor where my room is. And it's a pretty creepy dark staircase here. Sometimes the light doesn't go on till the very end. There it came on the middle so that was kind of nice. And so here we are on the second floor and my room is right here on the left, number seven. And before we go in my room, let's explore this other entrance here on the side. Sometimes I go up the staircase because it's really close. You can see the mirror over there to add some more light. So there's the staircase on the outside and it just kind of leads down into the parking lot and the area where the garbage is. So now I'm going into my room and this is pretty much the first stuff you see when you come in. There's my bookshelf right by the door. There's the door when you look back at it. And there's another shelf I have. Originally it had shoes, but now it has my notebooks and stuff like that. And then on the right when you come in, there's the bathroom. And I'll go over to that. And it is very tiny here, as you can see. The light's super loud. So there's the shower. There's the sink, towel, there's the toilet and all the stuff. And there's the mirror with um, all my medicine and stuff inside of there. So as you can see, there's not a lot of room in here. And this here is my bulletin board above the little bookcase. So this is pretty much the main room. Got my bed over here on the left, right? And over it, I have some artwork and my calendar, my main trash can there. And that's my Little Mermaid poster. Here's my vanity where I have my computer most of the time and my nail polishes. And if I actually go inside of here, you can see where all my makeup is. And my little vanity mirror. So I kind of have it organized down there with my like blushes and my lipsticks and my eye stuff and skin stuff. And then I use these for some more storage, like my earrings. And just some random stuff in there, like the Kindle. And I've got a little stool under here that I can take out when I need to. So my bed is kind of interesting because right now it's just a twin bed. And that's why I can fit it in this room. And it's got some storage underneath, like on this side. There's an extra pillow and some letter stuff. some blankets on this side and like extra sheets and stuff. But it actually expands into, I guess, a queen size bed because I've got two mattresses here. You can see I've only got the sheet on one. So it does get bigger if um, I need it to. So that's kind of fun. And then most of the time it just doesn't take up a whole lot of space. So here are some photos that show how my bed expands. First you pull this drawer out and after that, you move one of the mattresses over, and then they're at the same level. So you've got a queen bed. And I have to move my couch over here when I expand the bed, because room tiny! And on the left side here, I've got my closets. So there's one of my shoe racks. I've got another one inside the closet. There's my mirror, which I like because it helps me when I'm getting dressed and I want to take fashion pictures. Here's my little sofa. This is the first piece of actually comfy furniture I had in these rooms and I assembled it with my mom. Got my stuffed animal on there and my picture of Chihiro above it because I think it looks nice on this wall. And then there's my other closet and I'll take a quick video of what's inside the closets. So this 
is the bigger of the two closets. It's got some drawers in the right here that were built in, the laundry basket, some of the drawers I brought from home, storage stuff from Daiso, pretty much everything that I can hang, skirts, shirts, stuff like that. And then there's my other shoe rack, it's the flowered thing. And it goes pretty deep actually, so there's some extra boxes back here. And extra bathroom stuff. Here's my second storage closet. And there's actually quite a lot of storage for this small room. So I put my dresses in this one. Um, my bucket with all my purses, my suitcase, my vacuum cleaner. And then above it's got this little shelf here where I put my printer and my Xfinity box and some boots that don't fit into the shoe racks. And sorry it looks kind of dark for some reason from this angle because I guess there's light outside and it looks dark inside in comparison. But it's got kind of a nice view. You can see the trees. Of course in the winter there's no leaves on them and the car's parked in the street. And here's my radiator. In the winter it comes on in the morning with a really loud noise, so I'm not really a fan of that. And then above my radiator, I have my cross-stitch angel, which I really like. And I forgot to shoot it, but I also have a ceiling fan, which is really nice in the hot weather. Now I'm going into the kitchen. I actually kind of had to turn off the refrigerator because it was on and it was making a loud noise. So here's the little kitchen. You can see it's nice and bright because it's got the two windows. I just love this kitchen off to the side. It was one of the reasons why I chose this unit instead of the other one, even though it was bigger. And then I've got, there's not a lot of counter space, so I have these two little islands that I inherited from the last person. And they pretty much give me all the space I need. Really old stove, came with the place. Noisy refrigerator, my microwave on top of it, my magnets. There's my dish drying rack and the sink. And I pretty much have all my stuff in the cabinets down here and the cabinets up here. And some storage um, down here on the little islands. So my pots, um, my pans, my um, plastic stuff, my cutting boards, my rice cooker, which is the most important thing. And my silverware is in here. And the fun thing about this table is if you pull it out like this, you can put a chair on either side because I've got two chairs. And then two people can eat at once, which is kind of nice when I've had people over for dinner. But as you can see, there's not a whole lot of room to walk around the kitchen once you have the table out. So I mostly keep it um, against the wall when it's just me. And here are some of the decals that I got from Target and pasted on the walls. And I think it looks really cute. It just sort of added a little bit of decoration to what's a pretty white, pretty boring kitchen. And there's a few more up here. And then above the stove, I have my keep calm and drink more wine sticker, which is my favorite. <laughs> like, that's my absolute favorite. So that was my apartment, and I feel like it is kind of squished in with all my stuff, but you know, it has room for everything I need, so I'm happy about that, and I've had a lot of fun living here. So here is another view of the second floor. You can see some of the other rooms down this hallway, and here's the staircase to the third floor. I think the third floor is kind of cool, but I'm also glad that I didn't have to carry all my furniture up here. So it's pretty bright up here in this hallway because there is a, a window to the outside. You can see over there. And there's one of the rooms up here. I'll go out here so you can see the parking lot and the view from here. This is a fire escape actually. And there's the other two rooms and the stairway we came up from. So here's another view of the outside. There's a little side staircase and here you can see the parking lot and some other apartments over there in the old parking thingy. There's my car!